hey guys welcome back to another planner video so i'm recording this kind of weird so i hope y'all can see it um i'll go back and try to watch it before i upload it to make sure it's okay so this is my old planner the prayerful planner this is the passion planner um it's from the same um website and i will get it for you guys down below also there is an instagram page for the prayerful planner and there's an instagram page for the passion planner and i kind of look at those to get ideas i did tell you guys that i was going to try this one the last three months of the year so this one if you're new to my channel let me get to the page so this one looks like this and it basically make sure it basically, and hopefully it's zooming in for you guys. Like I said, I'm recording this a different way. Forgive me if it acts funny. So this planner, you have priorities, your praise and gratitude, your water or physical health posted, um, your things that you can do to the day all the way till 7 p.m. and your prayer journal. And then it goes to the next day. So I really, really did like this planner. Um, I don't have anything against this planner except this big binder here in the middle. It was very hard for me to write, especially with nails, but it was more so my hand. I felt like every time I tried to, even on this side, um, write something down, that this binder, even if I folded it, was getting in the way. So... While I do love this planner, okay, I feel like the binder part is just entirely too big. Um, this planner did stop in December, so it wasn't a big deal to me to lose the last three months. Um, I can go back to it if I want to. So that's the prayerful planner. So nothing against that except this big binder thing. But if you want to try it out, it's a really, really nice planner. So I said, let me try the passion planner. For the end of the year and then at the beginning of the year there's another one that's a weekly planner i have to see how much it is um so i can see what i want to do at the beginning of the year like i said i just can't find the planner a right planner for me so this is a passion planner it doesn't have the ring on the side it is a binded planner it does have a st strap there so i can close it and carry it with me now this is a daily planner this is not dated, which is why I was able to go the last three months. It has every day in it. And I think it's only a three month planner because I was looking it up and because it's a daily planner and it breaks down every day, if they were to do 365 days in this planner, it probably would be so big. You couldn't even carry it around. It would probably be bigger than a Bible. So I'm going to show you what I mean by daily. This is what this planner looks like on the inside, and it is by day. So you have all your stuff on one side by day, and then you have space to write on the other side. So it is a two-page daily planner. It is not dated. You have to put the date on top, okay? So I'm going to turn it here. Of course, with these planners, you have free space. It has write your own idea space. Then it has this month's change gamer goal brainstorming and it tells you over here how to brainstorm, what you need to do, lifetime wish list. I never do this part, but you can. I didn't do it in the other one. Then you have the breakdown of the months since it's not a yearly planner. It breaks it down for you. This is January through June all the way to 31 days and july through december all the way through 31 days so even though you don't have the full month if you need to jot something down for a month that's not on here you can jot it down and have it in your planner now here is the months and i started october wrong i started with monday i wanted to start with sunday but anyways here's the months numbered it labeled it people to see places to go things to learn also on the bottom you can write any special projects that you have and you can also write anything that you want to write down or like it says, create a mind map of this month's game changer. So um, then I have the self check in what's on your mind, 
memories, accomplishments for the month, how I've grown. And then you start with November. November, they want to know this month's game-changing goals. Um, you can write down priorities, visualize, and this is at the end of every month. So after that is November. And I found some little tabs for November, and I did start with Sunday, and I went all the way to Saturday. And so I'm going to label the whole month of November. I think I have some stickers um, that I need to use, some date stickers. So I need to look for those before I write them in because I need to use up some of these stickers. I haven't really been planning because of everything going on. There really wasn't much to do. So I still have a lot of planner stickers that I need to use. So I'm actually going to use some of my number stickers um, in there. And then this uh, is the self check-in for the end of the month. What happened? What'd you do? What went on in November? And then December. What is your month's game changer goal for December? And here's December. And I already have some stickers there for December. And I will put the dates in for December. Okay. And then once again, your self check in at the end of the month. And let me see. There is one for January here. So that's three months. Let's see what happens. That's January. And that's it. Okay. So this has got to be a four month, October, November, December, January. This has got to be a four month planner then. I thought it was only three months, but there is an extra month in there for January. So now we're going to get into the actual pages. As I said, it's not dated. So I started this October 1st, which started on a Thursday. Um, like I said, I'm not a very busy person. So if you're coming to this planner looking for crazy busyness, that is not me. Um, sorry about that, but I'm just not that busy. So this is my first page. Okay. And it also gives you your mood, like today in one word, your mood, what you learned today, the best thing that happened, any self-maintenance, um, any work you need to do, any personal goals is on this side. And then on this side is just a free page for you to decorate or if you're in class or school and you need to write down some assignments you need to do. Me, I think I'm going to carry this planner with me because it's small enough for me to carry with me and I can jot down certain things throughout the day, things I need to do, things I need to remember um, and stuff like that. But I put this beautiful young girl here for the autumn and then I put the fall sticker there. So I didn't really have much to do on Thursday. Friday was the second. Here's my Friday. I did want to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I did want to try the cold brew. I wanted to try the Charlie, but I heard that the Charlie is just a cold brew with milk and caramel swirl. And you pay a dollar more if you say Charlie. So I did go to Dunkin' Donuts and order a cold brew um, with the milk and the caramel swirl. I did add some sugar and whipped topping, but it was still only $3. So it is a dollar more if you say Charlie, just so y'all know. But I heard it's the same thing. So I did do that, got up early so I can stop the Dunkin' Donuts, um, jotted down some things I wanted to do. I still did not clean my brushes, but I'm going to clean them. Today's Saturday, so I'm going to clean them. Um, just put what I had for dinner. And then on this side, that was payday, so I do have to um, get my bills together after this video and pay some bills. But I put these little stickers down here to the bottom. And I think on these pages that I don't have anything to do, I'm just going to use up these darn stickers. Okay. So I'm thinking about going to the Passion Planner Weekly. Because the Passion Planner Weekly um, will not give me all of this extra space. And I may be happy with that and I may not. I may just have to stay there because like I said, I'm not busy. And so I feel like my planner doesn't look right because I'm not busy. And I don't have a lot of stuff going on, but hopefully you guys can see this is the Passion Planner Weekly. So the Passion Planner Weekly just has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you can just go down each day. And put what you're doing. It still has room for you to put some stickers if you want to. And then your personal to-do list for each day. You understand what I'm saying? 
So I feel like the Passion Planner Weekly is going to be, here we go, the next one that I get, if y'all can see that. Because, hold on. Because the Passion Planner Weekly will allow me to write stuff in. And on the hours that I don't have anything to do, I can put stickers. I'm also going to do that on this one. I think that... For instance, my weekends are not very busy at all. I'm going to show y'all Saturday. So here's Saturday. Not very busy at all. So I took the same theory of throwing in um, stickers here just to fill it in. Because I really just kind of relax on the weekends unless I have something going on. And so um, I feel like the planner is still kind of empty. Now I did get up this morning and do my lesson for this week's Bible study. And I was able to write that over here. And I feel like with the Passion Planner Weekly, um, there is a section on the bottom for notes. I can write my weekly Bible study over there. So I think that the weekly is going to be a lot better for me. I think it's going to be a lot better for me um, just because I'm not as busy. Now, this one I like better than the other one. I'm going to tell you all that. I like this one better than the other one because number one, it doesn't have those crazy rings that block me from writing. And number two, it has like just enough space that I need. It just has enough space for me. Um, so I do like this one better than the other one. Although this is empty on some days, like I said, I'm just going to use my stickers to kind of fill that up and make it more um, full and presentable. But this one is more suitable for me right now. But I do think that next year, the Passion Planner Weekly is going to be the beat. So I'm not sure how many months the Passion Planner Weekly goes to. I'm going to look into it. But I am going to use this until December. And if you, um, so here's what the pages look like with nothing on it. You have to date it. And I've dated all the way to October 30th. So I have dated this all the way through to October 30th. You have today's focus, your game-changing goal, personal work, free space to grow, self-maintenance, best thing that happened. Today I learned, today in one word. And then over here is just a space of infinite possibilities. And here is your times all the way down to 11 o'clock p.m. This one goes to 11 p.m. The other one only went to 7 p.m. Um, so this page is to take notes. Okay. And I already um, labeled all the way to October 30th in here. Okay. All the way to October 31st is labeled. So that is all the way up to today, which is Saturday. Um, this is what I have done so far. And so I will get started on working on next week and I'll come at the end of the week when I have stuff in the planner so that you guys um, are more able to see what's going on and not just looking at a plain planner with stickers. So if you're interested in this, like I said, this is the Passion Planner Daily. If you're interested in the color I got, because there are colored ones, this one is the Blush Bloom. Oh, it says right there, 93 days. There you go, guys. 93 days. 5.8 by 8.3 inches. Okay. So it is 93 days. And that is the information. All right. So I'm definitely happy with this one. I like this one better than the other one. So I'll come back to you guys at the end of next week. So you can see how my week went. And I'll see you guys in the next video.